Hello everyone and welcome to Dragon Quest Monsters Terry's Wonderland 3D. I have been waiting a long time to play this game. And actually let me let me turn it down just a smidgen. There we go. And uh, okay, I never thought that's, that I would actually be able to play this because this game is actually a Japanese game. And, you know, I can't play a Japanese game on an American system, but because I have homebrew and because there was an English translation patch uh, released for this game, now I'm able to read everything and it's just like dream come true because as a kid, and I still have my cartridge, I had a Dragon Quest or Dragon Warrior Monsters is what it was called. Um, and it's just so many good memories, so that's why I want to play this. Um, I haven't played this game before, even though it says Continue Adventure. This is actually a used copy of the game. Um, please note that old save data will disappear when you save a new game in its place. That is fine. Oh man. And then you guys would just let me know if the volume's too loud, if I'm too loud. Just let me know how it sounds. Because I did turn it down a little bit. It was at 50% volume for the game volume. So then I... I knocked it down to 40 for the game volume. Come on! Little feet! Millie, cut it out, will you? It's way past your bedtime. Boop, boop. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. I finally got you. Ugh. You are such a child sometimes. Come along now. Did you forget what mom and dad told us? When monster... Or no, it says, When children stay up too late, that's when the monsters come to take them away! <laughs> Oh my goodness. I would not want monsters to take me away. Uh, what? You think that would be cool? Yes. Good grief. Stop talking all this nonsense. Now, you go to bed this instant. Like, right now, man. It's like, okay. <laughs> so yes, Millie is the older sister. I have no idea what happened to their parents. They probably got eaten by monsters. Who knows? Good night, little brother. I saw a little hammer hood. How cute. And then there's me. And then, can I wake up? Oh. Oh. The little boy quietly slips out from his bed. And his name is Terry, by the way. Oh, okay, so this... Oh, wow. So, turning the camera is kind of like, um, turning the camera in, um, the Joker games for the DS. Something is written on these plushies in small, cute letters. Property of Millie. Oh, that's so cool. I think that one in the back is, um... It's the Countess from Joker 2. What is it? Her, the monster's actual name. I think it's uh, Teeny Sanguini. That is the monster type. There's a book called Monster Encyclopedia, but nothing is written inside. Who might, who might have started writing this? Um, a monster? Who knows? Wait, can I go outside? The little boy tried opening the door, but he isn't sure how to unlock it. Um, well, you... First of all, you find a key, and then you put the key there, and then you open it. And the fireplace sparks pop from the fire and crackle before vanishing. vanishing. Sparks pop from the fire. Okay, I, th I thought I read that wrong. And there's just some, you know, miscellaneous junk and whatnot. I don't think there was a kitchen in the Dragon Warrior Monsters game for the Game Boy Color. Um, I think it was just, like, the bedroom, and then to the side of it, there was, like, a little room. Oh! Uh, wait a minute. I'm gonna read this first. There's a difficult-looking book here. 
Just as expected, let's set the book down. Back down. <laughs> okay. Wait. Oh, they have little pictures, but I can't really, like, see. Oh, there's more bookcases. There's a book called The Children's Tale. Once upon a time, a little boy and a little girl lived in a village. The little boy started dozing off and quickly closed the book. Yeah, that sounds like me. There's a notebook labeled Millie's Diary. How sitting again today? I hope no nasty monsters come out to bother us. Well, um, I have a feeling. A funny feeling that as soon as we open this, that might happen. Or we could go to Narnia. Yeah, we'll go to Narnia. Why not? Oh. He's like, <gasps> like, gasp. Oh! It's Waraboo! Hmm? Hey, kid, is your name Millie? No. <laughs> that can't be right. Millie should be a girl, if I remember correctly. Well, whatever then. I've got no use for you, I suppose. Oh. And you took my trash can? Oh! Oh! Um, okay, so we have like a little woven type of basket on us. Hehehe, <laughs> the name's Rotney, Rotney of the Kingdom of Great Log. Hey, his name wasn't Rotney in the old game, it was Waraboo. And don't you forget it, you little brat. Now, back to what I actually came here for. He's looking around. Oh! Jackpot! What the heck? She's not a slot machine. Is this some witchcraft? Hehehe, <laughs> say goodbye to your precious sister. So long, brat. Don't have too much fun in there. Too much fun where? Under my bed? And she got abducted. This is, this is what happens when you don't lock your wardrobe. Kerfluffle, hmm. Now, where could Millie have gone? Kerfluffle, kerfluffle. And that's Wadaboo. Oh, and look, we're still trapped under the, the freaking basket. Oh wait, I skipped his dialogue. Oh goodness, what are you doing in there, little boy? Here, let me allow, let me give you a hand. Okay, that's what he said. Well, now you understand the monster's tongue. Would you happen to know where I could find someone named Millie? Well, you see, she got abducted. <laughs> what? She was just kidnapped? Oh no! Then it's just as I feared. I've arrived too late. Rotney? Oh, that's not my name. My name is Cotney. It's a pleasure to meet you. Why is your name not Wadaboo? Oh, you just want to know where your sister went, do you? Hmm, then you better come along with me. I think I might know of a way to find her whereabouts. And then... There's a little fluffy monster. <laughs> You've sure got some potential, little boy. I bet you'd make one heck of a monster scout. You don't know what that is. Ha! Huh. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Let's hurry! And then we're going to Narnia! Just kidding. We're going to a certain place that you guys will see. And before I continue, is the volume too loud? The game volume? Because I can't tell. I cannot tell at all. All right, so that's pretty much all that we have to do. So the second we put our feet in here, then we get to go somewhere special. Oh, it sounds fine, okay. So in that case, oh, okay, thank you guys. Thank you for letting me know. 
We get to go. Go somewhere special. We're going back to our childhood of Dragon Warrior Monsters. And by the way, this is a remake of the game. I don't know if I specified that in the beginning. I'm just so happy to play this game. Ah, you must be Cotney's new friend, eh? Well, it's a pleasure meeting you, child. I do have a name, you know. It's Grandpa. What's that? Where are you, you ask? Why, this is the Kingdom of Great Tree, yes! Oh my gosh, memories. Such good memories of this game. Connie brought, here, brought you here through the dresser back in your bedroom. Well, I think we'd better get a move on. I have been told his majesty awaits you up in the castle. So, there's a king. Oh yeah, the king! Oh my goodness. It looks like... Great tree looks like a giant broccoli. Hey, maybe it is. I won't judge. Oh, the music! Oh, oh my god! All oh, memories, childhood, yes. It's definitely a lot upgraded than what it was on the game. I almost said GameCube. Game Boy Color. Spectacular, isn't it? The entire kingdom was built atop this gigantic tree. Of course, his highness castle resides up in the highest part of the tree. We'd best not keep his highness waiting much longer. Let us continue onwards. All right, and while you do that, I'm gonna take a sip of my Mountain Dew. And there's just some ladies chatting. Oh, oh. He looks like someone you do not want to mess with. Oi, Gramps! That boy, the new scout old cotton brought us. Indeed, he is. We are actually on our way to meet with His Highness this very moment. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of broccoli. Boy, I'll be keeping an eye out for you in the tourney. Yeah, you don't want to mess with him. He looks like he could be a bodyguard that could kick your butt. I don't know. Maybe he could be our bodyguard. Who knows? All right, we. I'm. All, I was trying. Uh, I was trying to talk to, or talk like I was the other guy. All right, we've arrived. Now head on inside the castle. His Highness is eagerly awaiting your arrival inside. Hey Dash, how's it going? Yep. Dragon Quest. Um, it can be Ultra. Yes, it can be. Wait, should- Oh uh, yeah, we should probably go talk to the king. And then we can explore later on. Oh! Okay, so there's a guy guarding that. And there's a guy guarding that, and a guy there. Okay, so we're obviously gonna need to talk to this game. Oh, you play Dragon Quest Builders? I need- I need that. I just don't have any money to buy it. Welcome, I am the Chancellor of the Kingdom of Great Tree. You must be Cottony's new recruit. I've been hearing about. His Majesty is a bit troubled at the moment. If you'd follow me, he would like to ask you for a favor, if he may. He may. As long as, you know. As long as it's cool. Oh, this is cool. I don't remember this being in the old game, but that's, you know, it's not super high tech, but it's a nice little touch to the game. Hmm. Hey, oh. Oh, oops, I didn't do it. Oh, wait. Okay, so I don't think we get in trouble for doing this. I'm just causing all kinds of mayhem. Is there anything in these? No. Nope. Oh, well. He'll just have to bill me for those. <laughs> and 
and that looks like a fancy king. Oh, and that must be like his little jester, jester friend. Oh wait, I didn't, I didn't read that part. Okay. Um, now, er, what name do you go by again? Oh, okay. He said the you're the new scout. Oh, okay. Um, so I need to write in letters that I'm actually gonna understand. You know what, let's go by Stormy this game. I usually go by my real name, but for this, I'll go by Stormy. So, M and Y. Can I put symbols? I can. I don't see a heart symbol, though. Jeez, I wish I could read. Okay. Oops. Why did I do that? I wish I could read like Japanese writing. That would be cool. I wanted to put a little heart, but they don't have one. I just see a music note. Okay, so yes, we'll go by this. Stormy was it? Splendid. Now I know why. Or right, now I know this may seem a bit sudden, but please. You must hear my request. I've got just this one little favor to ask and nothing more. The Starry Night Tournament is approaching. A festival where world-renowned scouts battle. I'd like you to win it. Well, um, this is all sudden, you know. What's that? You'd rather not be wasting time while, you're, while you search for your missing sister? It's like, yep. Well then, here. I thought you came here to fulfill my humble request. But I'm mistaken, it would seem. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. That's it. I've got it. There's actually a fairly simple way for you to see her again. Become the grand champion of the entire Starry Night Tournament. Oh, jeez. Wait, does he have two different colored eyes? Or am I just seeing things? It looks like he has, like, one green eye and one blue eye. I can't tell. As legend would have it, the champion of the tournament is said to have any one wish granted. If you win the tournament, you can use that wish to have her return to you. Psh, he ain't gonna return her. And in doing so, you'd be doing me a favor as well. So then, I say, seek out victory in this tournament and you shall find your sister. Alright then, boy. Before you get started, you're going to need one of these. Stormy obtained the scout's proof. Hmm. From this day forward, you are now a scout of great tree. Now, stop on my farm. You'll need one of my monsters. Ooh, yay! Our first monster. The stairs to my farm are over by the castle's entrance. Okay. Uh, you should go up the stairs and receive a monster from the farmer, Pulio. Okay, let's go. Wait, where do you, where do you say it was? Oh my god, I already forgot. Stairs so leading farm where the monsters live on the floor below. Okay, yeah, it would help if I didn't have a goldfish memory. Okay. Oh, the uh, the little clay pots grew back. So do you mean those stairs? I'm going to assume yes. Oh! <gasps> it's Draki! Kiki! This is the monster farm. Okay. Barrels! Okay, can't kick them. Oh. What do you want? Did you come to take the monsters away? Yes. No. <laughs> well then, you're a scout, so you must be here to pick up a monster. I'm Pulio, I'm in charge of this farm. Nice to meet you. Here at the farm, you can drop off your monster companions, pick them up, and so on. For starters, choose managed teams to add the monster slimy to your party. If there's anything you don't understand, use the Y button to see an explanation. Oh, okay. 
So manage monsters. What about let's manage teams? Oh. Okay. Wow, you can have four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's one more than what you can have in in uh Joker and Joker Two. That's cool. What's manage monsters do? Oh, uh, maybe you can like look them up. By family, it looks like. Okay, so I think this is special. I forget what this type is. This is demon material nature. No, that's nature. This. Oh my god. I'm like really bad at my monster families. I haven't played this. I haven't played the original in so long. Uh, this is a dragon family, and this is a slime family, which slimy is a slime. So, looks like Slimy will make a good companion. You should go report to the king then. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. He too. Oh, my God. I don't think I can name this one. About Slimy being the only one here. Um, don't worry too much about that. You're now able to save the game. You can save it at any time during, except during certain events. Please open the... Menu with the X button and select the save icon. Traveler tips. Oh, okay. So this is gonna give us like tips and stuff, but since I played, this looks to be the same engine that Joker and Joker 2 uses. So it shouldn't be too much of unfamiliar territory. Oh yeah, see, since I bought this used, someone else's game is on this, so... I'm going to replace the save file. Oh, that's cute! I had a little, like, Terry walk in. That's cute. Look at this. Let's explore a little bit. Oh. I'm gonna take his treasure. Found the mini metal. Oh my god, yeah, mini metals! Okay. So, mini metals, you give them to this one guy and he'll give you, like, prizes. In the old game, he gave you monsters as prizes, but who knows if that's the same. Hey, young scout, do you think I'll be able to find anything worthwhile from up here? Um, well, considering that you're fishing from a tree, I'm not sure how well that's gonna go. Anything I'll catch, I'll leave inside the treasure chest. So you should come take a peek every now and then. Alright. He looks creepy. Let's go away from him before he, like, hurts me. Is that monster poop? Yep, that looks like monster poop. Oh. Oh my god. It's big eye. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Hello there, I'm Cross-Eye. Oh, okay, so... Oh, maybe he got a different name change, like... Um... Waraboo and Wadaboo. Uh, feed me lots of meat. Oh my god, okay. See how he's rocking back and forth? Um, I won't say any spoilers, but this is what I was doing... When, uh, Season 7 premiere of The Walking Dead. Um, if you guys watch it, you know what happens. This is like what I was doing the whole time after I saw that. Oh, so sad. Hey, that's a little ant. I heard the story about Puglia letting all the monsters escape from the farm. I guess I could have kept better watch myself, eh? Oh, well, that's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> he had see you watched it. So sad. Wait. Oh, my sweet lips. Why have you gone to such a distant place? It's my first time home for work in months. How could this be happening? Oh, oh, it's Lipsy. From the old game. Oh, I remember them now. Okay, so for now they're separated, but um, later on that could change. I don't want to spoil it, but I'll just leave it at that. So, okay. Ooh, what's up here? 
Nothing. I don't see anything. No secret things or whatnot. Hey, that's like a little stage. Whoa, look at me run. That's cool. I kind of want to go in this little, like, thing. Or is that what we came out from? Yeah, I think that's what we came out from. What is this? Oh. The little house and has... What is this? So many red words engraved into the door. When a scab befriends more monsters, only then will this door unlock. Okay, so it's probably not going to be for a while since I only have one. Oh. Interesting. Okay, this must be where my monsters get stored, I'm going to assume. And there's a little pathway up here. Wait, what does it say? Pasture for giant monsters. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Okay, so yeah, this is, I guess, big monsters. Mushrooms. Danger above. Press the D-pad up while holding B button. This will allow you to tilt the camera up. You can tilt the camera down as well. Just press down instead of up. Wait. Wait, what? Press the directional pad up while holding the B button. Oh. But. Okay. I wonder if they have uh, that one dragon that would poop on your head in the old game. I don't see anything. Whoa, okay, that made me a little dizzy. It says danger above. Oh god, this kind of makes me a little dizzy. Okay, let's get rid of this. Okay. <laughs> huh, I, I don't know, maybe... Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just not unlocked yet? It said danger above. I, there was nothing in there. There's no danger. At least none that I saw. Alright, so let's go back. And the king would love to talk to us. Ugh! That slime! There's no mis- Wait, what? That slime! There's no mistaking it. That's my father's adored pet, Slimy, isn't it? Stormy, how on earth did you require that particular monster? What? There were no other monsters available? Blast it, that Pulio has really done it this time. Letting nearly all of my monsters escape from the farm is unheard of. This is an outrage. I will not tolerate this insolence. Guards, send Pulio. Send for Pulio this is instant. Wow, well, please, your highness, please grant me your forgiveness. Pulio, tell me. Did my little Healy escape from the farm as well? With all the others. Forgive me, your highness, Healy. He managed to escape along with all the other monsters. You, how careless, total insolence. Oh, my precious little Healy. No, I will not forgive this ignorant, careless behavior. Guards, throw this fool into the dungeon immediately. Oh, jeez. That's a little harsh. Oh, what is it? Is there something you wish to say on this matter? Well, you see... Hmm, I see. So you wish to do me a favor and, in exchange, have me pardon Pulio his, of his punishment. Yeah, I... Sometimes I read way too fast and what my brain process, processes things. 
so I mess up a lot on like speech. Well then, oh wait. Okay, well then, you mean to say you're willing to find my Healy and return him back to my farm? That is very noble of you. In that case, I shall grant Pulio this one opportunity. Opportunity! Jeez. Your Highness, Healy has... Healy was reportedly seen escaping into the Traveler's Gates you recently unlocked. I see. Your next step should be to go inside the departure gate in the basement. Should you retrieve my precious, precious little Healy, I shall pardon Pulio of his punishment. You may do as you please with the treasure chest inside the castle storage rooms. Ask the Chancellor for additional details when you feel that you are ready. Well then, I'm very busy, so if you'll excuse me. Busy, 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 busy. Looks like he's on the way to his, uh, bathroom. And the, uh, the gesture is like, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, there's a big picture of the king. This book is titled The Kingdom of Great Tree. Great Tree started out as a small town built upon this giant tree. As the starry night approaches, Great Tree continues to flourish, stretching its branches, branches even further. This proves that the tree is also continuing to grow as expected. There are several other kingdoms out there that are very similar to this one, in their own trees. In each of these other kingdoms, they have, they each have their own set of unique traveler's gates, with unique monsters inside. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Titled Monster Scouts, okay. There are a few humans these days with the ability to understand and command monsters. Scouts need to fully understand the needs of their monsters. It's important to also be liked by them and not only understand their language. Many scouts originally lived in this world. Now Cotney has to recruit them from other worlds. We've lost many due to negligence with their monsters. Oh, that's so sad. Breaking, breaking everything. No, there's nothing for me. Hey, you. Surely all our citizens will rejoice if you can win the Starry Night Tournament. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I actually have Doritos and I'm probably going to have some after I play this. Hmm. I'm gonna break that. I'm gonna break everything I can. Because I'm a rebel. Oh, there's some treasure that he said we can have. I'm gonna open this. Oh, I found five medicinal herbs. Okay, oh yeah, I remember. You get to use herbs in these games. To heal yourself. Oh, a cypress staff. Oh, it appears that you found a weapon. Would you like to hear some information on how to properly equip and use weapons? Um, I won't read it, but I'll, like, show it to you guys so you guys can get, like, an understanding of the weapons. And weapons are pretty darn handy to have on your monsters because they give you like extra boosts and effects and all kinds of cool stuff with those. So I am going to equip Slimy with a weapon. And since it's the only thing we have, I'll equip him with the Cypress Staff. Alright, I think we're ready to get out into the world and catch monsters. Oh, I'm so excited! Gosh, this is gonna be, like, amazing. Now... Where the heck- Oh! I was gonna say, where the heck do I go? Hey! Okay... I'm gonna guess this is where we're supposed to go. If you descend these stairs, you'll find the traveler's gate rooms. The departure gate, which is 
which I heard Healy flood through, will be just beyond the bottom of these stairs. Okay. Yes. That is where we must go. Ooh. What's this? By examining pillars like this, you can learn useful skills and convenient commands. Pillars are marked as blue dots on the map on your lower screen. When you locate one, be sure to take a look. Oh! Okay. Instead of nicely pressing on the pillar, you would just kick it with our little boots. I learned Zoom. You can use the skill to transport instantly to specific places that you have already visited. Ooh. Oh yeah, it is just like Joker then. Awesome. Let's talk to you. What's up, buddy? Welcome, young scout. This is a traveler's gate room. The red glowing object at the bottom of the stairs, that is the departure gate. And then, yes, Healy. They keep hinting that Healy is in there, which... We'll see. We'll see what's up with that. Let's talk to him. Just like the other... The other guard said. Oh, what is this mean? Departure gate. Recommended party... Rank star. How do I? Oh, okay. So I just press the X button, and up there it says I have a star. So we should be good, right? Let's go. 